front end developer and the current company I work for. Um, basically what that means, I work on HTML, CSS, jQuery daily, uh, doing different things. And recently I started teaching a class of how to build HTML web page. And something I recently drew up is um, this image. And to uh, within the current class I have within my company, uh, we just started building this. And I also wanted to bring that presence to online for other people within my company who want to learn how to do it and don't have the ability to go to class. Uh, they can come here or for other people who are interested in learning how to build an HTML CSS document from scratch. Uh, I think this would be a really good starting point. Um, text editor I'm currently using is called Sublime Text 2. Uh, I highly recommend it if you don't already have it or are aware of it. Um, what I have here is a standard HTML5 uh, wireframe. Um, and then within here, within any HTML document, you have to start off with HTML opening tag and HTML closing tag. Um, all HTML tags have to be closed in some sense. Um, majority of them will have this kind of closing tag where you, uh, you open it, you have a forward slash, and they call the same uh, HTML syntax as I do up here. And then you, and then you have this closing. Um, and then if you want to have it with anything you want to show to the user from the body, uh, with an actual web page, that's what the body tags are used for. And what these head tags are used for is usually you want to link to a CSS sheet or JavaScript, or you want to put CSS JavaScript within uh, the head tag, or you can put other languages into it. It gets into CSO, C, CEO, a uh, search engine optimization specific to, uh, but we're not going to get into that right now. Uh, first thing I want to show is within the title tag, um, this is when you're looking at a web browser, uh, say Google Chrome, within the tag, uh, it has a specific name, and this is where you define it. So for this case, let's do my first web page. Go ahead, command, uh, if you use a Mac, command S, uh, I believe control C. If you use a PC to save it, we're gonna go to Google Chrome, and we're gonna hit refresh. And within here, as I said before, within Google Chrome, um, it shows within the tab of whatever you call it. Um, and now let's say if we wanted to have actual content within the documents, um, a good test is called hello world. This is used within almost any uh, scripted language to first learn how to do something very basic. Uh, so now we're going to hit save and then we'll refresh and you see hello pops up. And again, this is because we put it within our body tags that it renders within the uh, HTML document to display onto your web browser, um, whichever one you may be using. But now I actually want to get back to the actual image. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to pull this in as a background image, uh, not the, the dark gray parts. It is going to be the light parts. And the first thing we need to do is to create a CSS style sheet page. Uh, I'm going to do command new to create a new page. I'm going to do command s again to save. I'm going to create a new folder. I'm going to call it CSS. Um, I think this is just my personal preference of structuring my code into specific folders. HTML is always in the head folder and the images in CSS. And then if I have JavaScript, I'll have a JS folder. Uh, I'm going to call this file main.css, hit save, and then uh, within CSS, you can, there's different ways of referencing. Uh, you can reference to the actual HTML tag, so in this case, let's say we're, we're going to reference to the body tag. Um, there's also ID and classes, but we'll cover those in later lessons. Uh, so to start out, we want to type out body, and open bracket, and close bracket. Uh, depending on your browser, uh, depending sorry, what, what text you're using, um, it should automatically include the closing uh, tag. And then after that, I, I uh, hit enter to give a nice little space between open and closing uh, brackets for our body rule. And then now, like I said, I want to do the back. Uh, actually, before I even do the background image, I have to link to the CSS sheet. So now I have to go back to my index.html page and within the head I'm going to do link and then tab. This is um, 
like, this is the great thing about Sublime Text too. It has what's called snippets, and without uh, it allows you to generate a lot of code just by typing maybe a word or some specific to what you want it to do. Um, I highly recommend you learn how to do snippets if you're using Sublime Text too. It will increase your coding dramatically. Um, anyways, getting back to this. So now again, I want to link to the CSS uh, page. And to do that, I need to go down to the actual file it's in. So in this case, it's within the CSS file, forward slash. And just to make sure I'm doing it right, I'm going to open my folder structure of Sublime Text 2. I see again, it's main.css. So I'll do main.css. Go ahead and save. And just to make sure it's working, uh, with our buy tag, I am going to change the background color to black. Uh, to do that, you want to do a background rule and then do again background and do colon and then uh, do space. And I'm using called the hex color uh, by standard. It is six colors, uh, pound sign, six colors. You, there is what's called shorthand, which is three uh, letters instead of six. Um, but anyways, zero, zero, zero does represent blocks. So I'm going to hit save and I go back to my web browser and refresh it. And as you see, my background color has turned black and it, it successfully can also, this also let me know that I've successfully connected to my style sheet and it is rendering it correctly. And now I can go back to my body and now I actually want to see about pulling in this background, again, this background image right here. And to do that, I need to, uh, again, find my name for root. So in this case, I'm doing header.ping. That's the actual background image. And to do that, you use what's called URL, an open and close parenthesis. And since I am I, uh, within another folder, I have to go back one folder. To do that, you do dot dot forward slash this is basically saying I'm going from the CSS folder back up to this YouTube HTML class folder. And now I need to go into my images folder and again, the forward slash header dot ping. And this again, I'm going to, I'm going to save it. I'm going to go back to Google Chrome and I'm hit refresh. And then this is actually, I wanted this to happen. Um, this lets you know that browsers have and CSS and HTML have their standard rules. Um, in this case, for background image, it's standard rule and argument that I didn't define is called uh, background repeat. Uh, by default, it will repeat, and as you can see, the background image is being repeated uh, all the way, depending on how big your web uh, screen is, it'll repeat all the way down. Um, and since I made this to the um, full, and then this also extends out to the full width of the um, web page, web browser. Um, but now I don't want this to be this way. I only want to repeat across. And to do that, I specify my background repeats rule and do background repeats. And then it is using, it does use X and Y access. So I'm going to do repeat X and I hit save. I should make it give real hello world. And save again, come back here, and then refresh. And as you see, voila, it, it looks beautiful. It looks exactly the way that I wanted to. It's not repeating. It's fully across. It's on the exact top of the um, web browser. Perfect. Um, but now, as you see, there's something missing. I'm now missing um, the color. I did, I see, I need this similar color to go the full length of the website. Um, but before we do that, I wanted to show this ability to do uh, repeat X within the actual background. And to do that, you could do it after the URL. Uh, this will let it know that um, it's, again, kind of like the shorthand. This is shorthand of saying I want to repeat X instead of defining background um, repeats. Uh, so now I want to get the color. So now I'm going to open up within... Um, within Photoshop. Open up, scroll in, grab the color real quick, and then grab the head color, and then go back to Sublime Text 2, and I'm defining it before the URL, and then I'll save, and I will refresh. And voila, we got a background color, 
um, at this time. So thank you very much. Look forward to more classes. See you later.